My name's Tony Gronsky. I'm the executive director here at Camp Woodstock. You might have already heard the sad news that Camp Woodstock will not be open for overnight camp this summer. We're deeply saddened. We're gonna miss you. Camp just isn't camp without you here. I do want you to remember the good times you've had here and the good times to come. I want you to remember the feeling you have when you come down Camp Road, the feeling you have when you see your counselor, when you see your friends again, or those new friends you're about to make. I want you to remember cheering in the dining hall, nugs and pots. I want you to remember how it feels to swim in Black Pond, to catch a breeze and sail across its waters. I want you to remember the smell of the pines on our trails. I want you to remember what it's like to climb at the tower or to bike around our trails. I want you to remember what it's like to circle up around camp every night for Peace and Taps. I just want to thank everyone um, for welcoming to this camp because this is my first year here. I just want to thank uh, my classmates. I want you to remember the flicker of a candle as we do reflections every night. I want you to remember this, but I also don't want you to forget. The Woodstock spirit is not just here at Camp Woodstock, but it's inside of you. Our core values of caring, honesty, respect, and responsibility are here at camp and inside of you. I want you to care for one another. I want you to be honest if you need help during this pandemic. I want you to respect everyone treat them how they want to be treated and be responsible help those in your house and those in your neighborhood those that need help right now you are the one to be the responsible person and help them continue to spread the Woodstock spirit not just here at camp but in your neighborhood remember it's alive in you Here at camp, chapel is a special place. It gives us an opportunity to connect with each other and with nature in a spiritual way. It allows us to remember and reflect on our things here at camp, but also what's going on back home in our family. Now, chapel happens every two weeks at camp, but it also happens during family camp. And one of the family camps I really enjoy is Memorial Day family camp. Memorial Day Family Camp allows all the families to come to chapel, connect with their families, and enjoy time together. Well, this Memorial Day, that won't be happening here at camp. I hope it is happening at your home, but this year, instead of me sharing a story of a veteran on Memorial Day, we have a special guest with us today. Major General John Gronsky, retired, sought after speaker, Woodstock alum, but also, he was on Oliver North's Real American Heroes. So Major General, thank you for joining us today. And thank you for sharing a Memorial Day story with all of our Woodstockers. Hello, Camp Woodstockers. My name is Major General John Gronsky, U.S. Army, retired. Now, I'm glad to spend a few moments with you today. You know, we have Memorial Day weekend upon us and of course Memorial Day is the time when we recognize the ultimate sacrifice that many of our military personnel have made so we could all live in a free country. I'm aware this year that uh, you know many of the Woodstock families who would come to Camp Woodstock on Memorial Day weekend will not be able to come to Camp Woodstock uh, this Memorial Day because of the COVID pandemic, but I still want to encourage you to continue to remember and recognize that ultimate sacrifice of, of our fallen warriors. You know, I have an inspiring story I'd like to share with you. You know, I served as a brigade commander in Ramadi, Iraq in 2005 and 2006. And in my brigade, I commanded approximately 5,000 American 
soldiers and Marines. And when I was in Ramadi, uh, one of the people I had to engage with on a regular basis was the governor of al Anbar province. His name was Governor Mamoun. And Governor Mamoun is what we call in the, milita in the military a high value target, but, but in a good way because he was uh, an Iraqi who supported, for the most part, our, our military operations in Ramadi. So we knew we had to protect him. There came a time when Mamoun needed to have a medical procedure conducted. And you know, Ramadi was a very violent, chaotic place. And because Ramadi was so dysfunctional, uh, we had to have Governor Mamoun transported about two hours east to the city of Baghdad to an American military medical treatment facility there. And Governor Mamoun was gone for about two weeks and he came back to Ramadi and as soon as he got back to Ramadi he sent a message to my headquarters and he asked me to come and see him at his office at the govern government center. Now Governor Mamoun had this huge office and he always had a large entourage in his office, you know, about 20 sheikhs and then about 15 other uh, government uh, staffers that he would always have around him. And when I arrived at his office, he asked everybody to leave. The only three people remaining in Governor Mamoun's office was Governor Mamoun, myself, and my interpreter. And Mamoun came and he sat down alongside of me and he took my hand in his hand. And for anybody who knows anything about Arab culture, you know, when an Arab man takes another man's hand in his, it's a sign of trust and a sign of respect. And that's, that was the first time Mamoun ever did that with me. And he looked into my eyes and he said, you know, Colonel Gronsky, many times you have sat here in my office and you've talked to me about American values. And you've, ta you've talked to me about the, the values of your, your soldiers and your Marines. And I never really knew exactly what you were trying to tell me. But when I was in Baghdad at that American medical treatment facility there, I saw a wounded insurgent being brought into the trauma center. And I watched how hard your American medics and nurses and doctors worked to save the life of this insurgent. And I could not believe how hard you Americans struggled to save the life of one of your enemies. And he said, now I finally know what you were trying to tell me about American values. And then he went on uh, to talk uh, to me about some of the values I had spoken to him about. He said, you know, you've talked to me about dignity and respect and how you, know, you Americans show dignity and respect, not only to your families and to your friends, but even to strangers and even to your adversaries. He said, you've talked to me about integrity and how Americans are honest and they will do the right thing even when no one is watching. And then he said, you've talked to me about personal courage and you didn't talk just about physical courage, you talked about moral courage too and how Americans will stand by their principles that they hold dear. And you know, I was very, very proud that Governor Mamoun finally understood what American values were all about. So a message to you all, you know, as we uh, get ready to remember the sacrifice of those who gave their lives for our country during this Memorial Day weekend, you know, I, I'd like you to think about ways that, that you could serve others. And you know, the YMCA teaches young people the YMCA values. And you know, to the young people who will not be able to come to the overnight camping this summer at Camp Woodstock, you know, find ways to help and to serve others. You know, I like to say, you don't have to be wearing a military uniform in order to serve your country. So again, to the young people, look for ways to serve your community, your state, and your nation. You don't have to wear a military uniform in order to do so. You know, to the counselors, to the counselors who are at Camp Woodstock every year, you know, for the overnight camping, you know, coaching and mentoring young people so they, uh, could develop the YMCA values and, and live by the YMCA values. You know, you won't be at the overnight camping this particular summer. But again, to you, I encourage you to find 
other ways in your community that you could help young people, that, that you could mentor and coach young people in the community. You don't have to be at Camp Woodstock in order to do that. So again, to everyone, uh, thank you for observing Memorial Day this year. Thank you for remembering the ultimate sacrifice that our fallen warriors made. So may God bless our fallen warriors and their families, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you.